So something of late we've had, late we've had my son's old Hilux. We've been doing a bit of a bit of a build on ourselves for his uh, first car. We had Aussie Arvo's GQ here. Just a few old school cars here that's made us think we probably need one in our life. So I thought we'd have a little bit of a, uh, a dabble in being YouTubers and do a bit of a build here on a car that'll be a company car to hang around. And um, so we can go do some more serious trips with a few guys and, and you know get involved in that scene a bit more. We've been heavily into these new 62s, 300s and all that. And I think we need a GQ in our life. So I happen to have this one in our paddock at home. She's been sitting around, it's, it's a proper nugget. And I thought we'd do a build on it to show what it takes to get a piece of shit like this uh, up to be a capable four wheel drive. I don't want it to be a Hollywood car. It's gonna stay TB. Um, I just want it to be reliable. Um, my envisagement for it is to be TB, twin locked, a strong enough running gear that I can thrash it and have fun, not super powerful, just a fun car that's super capable and I don't have to care too much about. So I think we'll give it a, a quick rough paint job. Um, gonna look into doing maybe some different diff housings in it. Basically, I'm gonna get some pricing and work out how, how much does it cost to just make a capable car, but nothing Hollywood, but something we can just go have fun in and then I'll, I'll make that all transparent along the way. So. Currently, I think I paid 1500 bucks for it a while ago. I actually just bought it for my youngest son and thought, I'm gonna chuck it aside that when he's 18, you won't be able to get one. So I've had it sitting there, I thought we'll drag her out. It runs and drives and does everything. It's just a bit rough around the edges. So it's not rusty, she's just a bit banged about. So we'll give her a tidy up and then we'll work through what we're gonna to need to do to get it to be a reliable car. So if you could comment what you think I need to do, I want it to be reliable and capable. So what do I need? Without going crazy budgets, um, I don't want to sort of spend more than 10 grand on the car. My thoughts is GU housings, lockers, basic suspension and 35s. But tell me what you think.